Hi everyone, Derek Hooper here. So I want to talk to you a little bit about a advanced drill that I do with my better players. Uh, it's also a drill that I use to assess a player's skill level in terms of how much club control and ball control they have and it allows me to then determine what areas we need to work on. And, and that drill or that test is called the nine shot drill. So I'm going to walk you through what is the nine shot drill, talk to you about what it means and therefore You'll be how you can use it to determine what areas of your game might need the most attention. So when I'm working with players, the things that I'm looking for is, does their ball flight match up with their goals? And what I mean by that is that if they, if I have a player that wants to play to, you know, shoot in the 70s or, or break par with some consistency, then they need to be able to hit certain shot shapes. If they're unable to hit certain shot shapes, then they're going to be limited on the golf course and it's going to make it harder for them to achieve their goals. So one of the things that I will get players to do when they come along to see me for the first time and I want to see what sort of skill level they have in terms of ball flight control is I'll ask them to work through the nine ball, ball flight drill for me. So the nine ball flight drill is if you imagine a tic-tac-toe screen and then in each grid or each square on that screen is a different ball flight. So from where I'm standing, it would be going through that grid with you, it would be high fade, high straight, high draw, middle fade, middle straight, middle draw, low fade, low straight, low draw. And they'd be the nine ball flights that I'm looking for my better players to be able to control. So if you come along to me and you can only hit middle fade and high fade and that's all you've got, then you're going to be limited in what you can do on the golf course. We're going to have to plan your strategy appropriately based on what you can do with that ball flight and we're going to have to work on other areas for you to be stronger so that you can make up for the deficiencies you have in ball flight. Now ultimately what we'd like to do is to be able to give you more ball flight options. The more options you have, the more aggressive you can be on the golf course you can attack certain holes a little more than what you can if you've only got limited ball flight and you're therefore going to be able to score better because you're going to be able to position your golf course or your golf ball sorry a lot better around the golf course so when you're out on the range next it would be a great idea for you to get out there and see if you can work through those nine ball flights figure out which ones you have which ones you don't have and then when you know what you don't have, you know exactly what you need to talk to your coach about next time you see them so that you can continue to improve and add what I would call more weapons to the arsenal for you to attack the golf course. Once you feel like you've got all those nine ball flights, a great drill that I'll ask my better players to work through is how many balls does it take you to hit all nine ball flights? Now, obviously it would be ideal if you could hit all nine ball flights with nine balls. But keep in mind that when we're hitting particular shots, if we want a ball to fade, the ball has to start left of target, move to the right, but it can't cross the flag. If we're hitting a draw, it has to start right, move left, but again, it cannot cross the flag. Now, the reason why we don't want the ball to cross the flag is that if I'm usually shaping a shot into a green, there's trouble on the other side of the flag. So by that, I mean, if the flag is tucked left on a green, I would ideally want to start the ball somewhere in the middle of the green and move the ball from right to left towards the flag. But I don't want it to cross the flag because if it crosses the flag, I start getting into the area where the trouble is or there's not much green to work with. So that's why we never want the ball to cross the flag when I'm doing those drills. If you find that you can do all nine ball flights with one club and it only takes you nine balls to do it, good for you. There's not too many players out there that can actually do that. Your next progression from there is to figure out how many clubs in your bag can you do that in terms of can you hit all nine ball flights with only nine golf balls with every club in the bag from about nine iron and up. Once you start being able to have success doing that, you've got great control over your golf ball. You're going to be able to get around the golf course much more easily. There's not a flag you're not going to be able to attack and you're going to be able to shoot much lower scores. So get out there, work on that nine, do that nine ball flight drill, figure out where your strengths and weaknesses are, and then determine what areas of your golf swing and your ball flight you need to work on so that you can have more weapons in your arsenal.